Welcome back, everyone. Each year at the symposium, we honor the top trainee-led papers through the Sammy Quo Awards. I'll start with a short background on Sammy Quo and this award in his honor before the awards are presented. Sammy Quo was born in Taipei, Taiwan in 1984 to parents Yao Qi and Li Ling Kuo. In 1996, when Sammy was 12 years old, he was diagnosed with a rare inflammatory disease associated with the measles virus. His family cared for him at home until he passed away in 2006 at the age of 22. After his passing, his cousins, Peggy and Amy, who were Stanford graduates, contacted the Neurosciences Institute and the Sammy Kuo Memorial Scholarship Fund was established. The opportunity allowed the family to memorialize Sammy and recognize crucial neuroscience research that one day might help cure other children with debilitating conditions. Kang Shen, the Vincent V.C. Wu director, will now present this year's awards. Th thanks, Joe. Um, it's always very exciting uh, to present this award. And as you can tell, that um, this has been going on for a while. And uh, we've funded or awarded uh, some of the wonderful studies uh, by students and postdocs. So there is the uh, graduate student category and then the postdoc category. And first, I want to thank the committee who's done their hard work uh, to choose uh, the winners. So the postdoc uh, scholar category was headed by Paul George, uh, Beth Mormino, and uh, Rogelio Hernandez Lopez, and the graduate student categories headed by uh, Xiaoke Chen, and Anne Burnett, and Paul Nujukian, and the uh, Wusai staff that helped a lot is uh, Kiara and Zulama. Thank you. Th thanks, everyone, on the screen. So now, um, okay, so we're going to start. This is just let me make sure that I don't <laughs> mess this up. So this is the uh, third place for the graduate student. Of course, I know Olivia. Olivia Gontier is a graduate student in uh, Erngitler's lab. So Olivia uh, studied, developed a way to purify uh, human motor neurons. These motor neurons are, is what dies in ALS disease, uh, as you heard from Arch. And uh, congratulations. Come back and and I have to say that it's very very difficult to purify, uh, <laughs> uh, and the purification of these neurons really is the first step to be able to understand the transcriptome and all the other good things. Uh, so congratulations, Aluria. So the second place graduate uh, student is another. Some uh, student that I know very well, Chuan Xu from uh, Li Qin Luo's lab. So Chen's work uh, really uh, studied uh, the downstream factors of this uh, tenuary molecule, which is uh, synaptic matchmaker. So they specify synaptic connections. And then he identified uh, synaptic proteins and, uh, and actin regulators and really provided a mechanistic link between the surface molecules and uh, how synapses are built. Tron, where, where are you? OK. Congrats. All right. All right, so drum row. <laughs> so now uh, th this year's uh, uh, paper of the year is from Ucha Mehta. Uh, and uh, Ucha is in uh, uh, Munther's lab. And then he uh, made a sensational discovery uh, by understanding how a strange lipid in the lysosome is synthesized. So uh, lysosomes is our recycling machines in our cells, is degrading proteins, degrading nucleotide. It has very specific sort of uh, lipid or, or compositions, and it's been a real hard thought question about what actually makes a lipid called BMP, and uh, uh, which has work really identified uh, this enzyme that makes BMP. Congratulations. Great. And, and actually, these uh, uh, enzymes are highly uh, tightly linked um, to Parkinson's disease, and, and there has been a wave of excitement uh, after this paper was published. So really, uh, congratulations. All right, so, so now moving forward to the postdoc category. Um, 
This is the winner, right? Honorable mention. This is honorable mention. Okay, honorable mention Chu Chu Wang from Axel Brunger's lab. So here, I think Chu Chu's work uh, utilizes the EM tomography to understand two very important molecules, synaptophysin and the ATPase, if I remember it right. And then, so it's basically uh, solving the connections between these two very important molecules on synaptic vesicles. Okay, uh, Chu Chu is not here, so we're gonna uh, get this to her one way or another. Great. Um, so this is another honorable mention. Uh, is from two uh, postdoc fellows, uh, Xiao Yang and uh, Chaba Foro uh, from the Cui and uh, Pasca, uh, uh, Sergio Pasca's lab. So um, here, this pair of researchers uh, develop a new uh, soft, I think, uh, you know, very malleable um, uh, electrode systems. It's to enable the recording from these uh, organoids. Um, so it's really, I think it's uh, it's it's a it's a very important technique to push the organoids, assembloid, uh, human derived cell uh, systems to really uh, started to get some functional insight on the connectivities and uh, and uh, physiolo physiology. So congratulations. Where are they? <laughs> Congrats. Yeah. Congratulations. Did I say the name right? Yes. All right. Cool. Okay, so this is the, is this the second place? Third place, third place for the postdoc category, Matthew McCoy from Andy Fires Lab. Hi, Matthew, please come on up. Yeah, so, sorry, <laughs> out of order. So Matthew is a uh, evolutionary biologist and has studied how, what makes uh, evolution, how does evolution makes the nervous system special? So he's focused on these long uh, coding genes, right? really large genes. Uh, and then he found some really cool stuff by looking at different organisms and how uh, evolution has played its tricks. Okay, great. All right. All right, second place. For the postdoc category is uh, Shrai Wang from uh, from Tom Sudoff's lab. Uh, Shrai uh, studied um, the function of this uh, very strange looking uh, adhesion GPCR called latrophilin, and then really uh, studied the splicing of this latrophilin gene and how it connects to uh, activity dependent control of synapses. Congratulations. All right. So drum roll again. This year's winner <laughs> is uh, Dan Liu from the Parv Parv Parvizi lab. Um, yeah, so sorry. Um, so uh, what Dan did was to di discover a part of the brain that specializes in um, sensing its physical self, sen sensing our physical self. Um, and uh, again, I'm not an expert, but it sounds really uh, interesting, you know, there is the, from the summary, you can tell that there is the physical self and then there's the self mem mem in memory. So you're constantly checking, as Doris was saying, you're constantly inquiring uh, your physical states and whether you're staying in the same uh, or the states that you're, you have a same mind or not, right? And so it sounds really cool. Uh, where, where is the <laughs> Congratulations. 